be here. It's good to have you. Yeah. Mount Joy, you've been on a pretty wild tour. Yeah, constant yes, one. For like, constant how long tour. now? Uh, <laughs> straight since March, and then off and on the year before that. Oh my god. So before that, before the album was out, we were doing tons of like opening support slot uh, touring. And then, uh, yeah, since March, it's been like headline till now. It's been a bit of a whirlwind story for Mount Joy, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. just give us a very brief synopsis of how the last two and a half years have gone. Yeah. From sort of almost nothing to <laughs> superstar. <don't you? laughs> well, yeah, the, uh, well, hopefully superstar. I don't know if we're there yet. <laughs> well, but, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, basically, Matt and Sam, our singer and guitarist, uh, had written songs together in their bedroom, and they were looking for a bass player. This was probably, I think, late 2016, maybe. And they put out a uh, Craigslist ad looking for a bass player. And I had just moved to LA, and I was responding to anything to play with other musicians. Were you looking to be a music in a band? Is that your main prime aim? Uh, at the time, I was looking to just do hired gun work. Um, I had been in a million bands, and I kind of moved to LA, being like, all right, I'm just going to do the hired gun thing. And so I met up with Matt and Sam, and it was chill, and we just, uh, Went through, I think, four songs and recorded them in my living room. I ended up playing bass and drums on them. And it was just, you know, a, a, a good immediate hang. And uh, my roommate produced it. And then I didn't hear from them because they, they didn't really have it in their game plan to become a touring band that's playing a mass in Wisconsin tonight, you know. And then they. Uh, this, one of the songs, I didn't hear from them for like six months, and then one of the songs did really well on Spotify, and they hit me up asking if I'd want to play bass, do you know a drummer? And I said, sure, and yes, and, um, and then after, a little bit after that, we, had a mutual, we all had a mutual friend with Jackie, our keyboard player, and so then it just became a band. Just and rollable, I, the momentum. Yeah, and it just became a band, and um, we got lucky with a, a certain number of things and um, we kind of just stuck with it and uh, here we are now. <laughs> so here you are in Madison, you've done what, over a hundred shows on this tour so far? Yeah, Must be or, I think it's coming up to that, by the end of this tour, by the end of the fall, it will be well over a hundred. Wow. Yeah. And any particular favorite show you've had so far? Played last night in Chicago, that was pretty incredible. That was like the biggest audience we played to that was just our fans. And it wasn't like a festival or an opening or anything like that so that was a uh, pretty crazy experience yeah, they're you, all singing along they're, Mount Joy I mean I really like the name of this band where how did that come about the name uh, the name comes from Mount Joy in Pennsylvania it's an area in Valley Forge Pennsylvania oh it actually exists it's a real it place. actually exists okay. there's a Mount Joy and a Mount Misery and so Sam and Matt uh, grew up on Mount Misery, I think. Or maybe <laughs> Sam just grew up on Mount Misery, but they were like right there. That was, you know, where they went to high school and stuff. And so uh, there's some story about a famous colonial who had to spend the night on Mount Misery, named it Mount Misery, and then found, I don't know, some like food or something on Mount Joy and called it Mount Joy or something right. like There's some story like that, but they've changed the names now because it it's harder to sell houses on Mount Misery. I bet. And so uh, there's different <laughs> names. Capitalism <on>. rules. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so you've, you've released your first album, and how's that doing? Seemingly well. It, it feels good to just have it out and um, tour behind it. And when did you release that? Uh, March 2nd. Right. Yeah. And so um, it was really good to have it out and then go play shows with right. an album out. And do you feel like the shows are helping push the sales? Yeah, back? I think so, yeah. I, um, that that's a really good it's a really good way to just um, be in a place see someone who wants to buy an album hand them the album talk to them like you know it's less of just numbers online or anything like right. that so you know you've done your first album are you guys working on a second album uh slowly but surely we've been doing so much it's kind of hard to but whenever we've got a chance um when we're all back home is to get together and work on I mean, ideas. so, you know, I guess for the first album, it was mainly Matt and Sam that put the material yeah, together. It I mean, of, it, they, they come up with an idea and then say, here, band, what do you reckon? Yeah, there's a large percentage of the songs that were uh, just brought in acoustic, and we would form a band 
uh, arrangement around that. And then there's a couple couple songs that were just way more fluid that just came together. From jamming. In, in, yeah, exactly, in, uh, in a rehearsal room. Right. And so, um, potentially for the next record, it looks more like it, more songs will be made in that way. Right, think, so together as an Yeah, whole. yeah. I'm sure there'll be songs, sometimes Matt just comes in with a, a beautiful song. We're like, all right, I'll just, let's just stick with that that formula works you know so you know that brings me to a little bit we to are. this bass I mean I know yeah. you have one of these these are the mix uh, the sound devices mix pre 10n yep uh, which uh, for anyone out there it's basically a, an 8 input 8 mic preamp 12 track record it's basically like a door really without the computer you can create a full production song with this without ever going near a computer, the quality of the preamps and the effects are really good. So oh, yeah. what I'd like to hear from you is how you've been using this thing um, yeah. with life in Mount Joy. In Mount Joy, we've been using it, uh, just plugging um, two microphones in and recording our rehearsals so far. So we've okay. been touring so much, um, we haven't had a chance to really work on any demos that aren't just recordings of us playing the songs live. Uh, which is fine, but where, where this thing stands out, of course, because before this is all we had were our own iPhones. And so we'd place, we'd place those down and get a recording just so you can conceptualize it without playing a song later. But um, they sound really bad, and sometimes you place it down next to the kick drum and you don't realize it, or the hi-hat or something. And it, um, but setting up two microphones in a room and putting this down it, it is as easy and sounds 100 times better. Um, because these are really kind of curse. Yeah, these are these are ass preamps, and so uh, that's how we've used it in Mount Joy so far. And right. it's super easy, just with the SD card, pop it in the computer, email it out to everyone. So, do you um, would you rather you this use this instead of a computer? And why? Uh, and yeah, why? I I think um, you know for for what I've used it for in my own home with my roommates, um, it's. It's really handy because I have a bad tendency to get caught up uh, with DAWs. Not, not knocking DAWs, of course. I guess you can consider this its own DAW. But uh, I used it just as an interface, but I used the preamps just uh, to do some recordings for a friend of mine's demos that he used the, he ended up using the actual bass tracks. Right. Uh, from what he considered was going to be demos and I just plugged a bass into a tuner and then into this. Okay so do you um, see this as a tool that you might use in the future for helping you write songs as well? Definitely. I see uh, in the fall or after the fall Mount Joy has like two months of not touring and so that's going to be hardcore demoing time. Right. And so uh, you said you were going to be more in the studio to start really working organically yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll just start off in our rehearsal space and set this up and there's enough inputs on it to just actually make, you know, we can play live into it and then overdub as well um, and just use the effects in it. After today, where are you heading? We have uh, St. Louis tomorrow. Okay. Uh, are you driving or flying? Or driving. So You like the um, driving side of it? It's okay. Depends. Have a good have a good book, or it's hard it's hard to not um, just look at social media. So, so uh, off to St. Louis, and you're touring for another month or two. Um, yeah. So I won't be back in LA till after Thanksgiving. Uh, there's a couple days where we have off where everyone else is going back to LA, but. Um, I'm from Oklahoma, so I'll go and visit my parents at that time. Nice. Yeah. Um, I bet they're proud of this son. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't spoke to them I'm in trying. two years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think they, I, they're great. They're, they've been the best parents I could ever ask for. But, um, we'll but yeah, send so. that little clip to them in the post. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So, uh, it's Christmas is coming. But, uh, but yeah, so we're out for a while in all US, Canada, and Europe. So Right. Well. I'm really great to meet you. Yeah. Looking forward to the well, gig man. tonight. Thank and, you for uh, making I hope this. Hope it goes well. Thank sure, you for and hooking us up. Feel free to let us know. Contact us anytime if you've got any cool ideas for this thing. How it can be improved. Yeah. Uh, if it can or what have you. But yeah, it's been really great to meet you and and see you perform tonight. And yeah. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Michael.